field collapsing, attempting to restore. Field stress is exceeding design limits. Affirmative, shutting down system. Worth a try. Yeah. Come on, Tan, this ain't going anywhere. It will. It will. I'm telling you guys, we are on the verge. Dave's right, Dad. Oh, John Mark, you believe in quantum computing, don't you? Dan, I believe in the possibility of bringing somebody from another quantum reality, but we just can't do it. We can. I'm sure of it. You know, I just have Dan, to... listen, I know how much you wanted this, but I just don't think it's going to happen. I guess it's unanimous. Dad, don't look at me. I'm just here because you asked me to. And that's as far as it's going to go. Oh, Dan, don't count on me for the next few days. is just not going to help. Dave, it's not a story. Ask him. Okay, yeah, we'll do. So, Mark, are you from an alternate reality? Yes. Well, gee, Dan, you got me. Mark, could you show him your ID? Sure. 
Mark Henry Flynn, 1640 Riverside Drive, City of Ramsey Basin, Basin, James Bay Province in the country of Rupert's Land. Well, whoever you are, you and Dan sure must have gone through a heck of a lot of trouble to come up with this ID. Dave, it's not fake. Well, if you will excuse me, I must be going. Pleasure meeting you, Mark, or whoever you are. See you, Dan. I guess we got a problem here. Unfortunately, it's one I predicted to have no solution. Ben, what makes you think they'll believe you? Because they're more open-minded. Hi, Dan. Hey, Dan. What if I told you guys that Mark here was proof that our work was not a total waste? What? Mark, show me your ID. Then you know perfectly well that this is easy to make a fake ID. Honestly. <laughs> you guys were my last chance. Last chance for what, Dan? Last chance to prove that our work was not complete failure. Come on, Mark. Dan, listen. If it's any consolation, I believe in what we're trying to do. But? But I think that by making up this story, you're just setting yourself up for a fall. You got to realize it just didn't work. You know, where I come from, friends don't so easily turn their backs on one another. It's nice meeting you. Hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you, Chris, none of the others believe me, and all of it's true. You know as much about this project as I do, so what do you think? Well, you have to admit, it's pretty hard to swallow. I know, I know. Well, where is this guy staying, anyways? He's staying in my apartment. He's got nowhere else to go. So, what do you think? Well, he's not from here. Got us in. saying goodbye anyway. You just don't get it. Uh, take a break. You deserve it. You get it eventually. <laughs> what is that? That's the Enterprise. We're a show about Star Trek. Star Trek? Yeah. Wasn't that some cheesy show they canceled back in the 60s? Here it's one of the world's biggest science fiction phenomena. Thanks. Who is Prime Minister of your country? John Crutchy. Who? John Crutchy. <laughs> In mind, we'd never let someone from another country be Prime Minister of our own. Quebec separated. What? Oh, nothing. It's just. It's so amazing, you know, being able to learn about an alternate version of history. Yeah. Your world, it, it's so different from mine, yet there's so many things alike. It's been a peek through a looking glass. I just hope I can look back through. Hey, what are you doing? Let me up. Ah, what do you first? 
I'm who I told you I am. If you don't like that, you can just let me go. You hit me! Sorry, Dan, it was necessary. Necessary for what? It was pertinent for me to find out who he really was. You see, I went back to the lab, and, well, something had come through. Wasn't sure what, so I still wasn't convinced. But when I was holding him over the rail, and without hesitation, he told me who he was. He knew his life was in danger. That convinced me. Dan. Chris, what are you doing here? Well, Jean-Marc couldn't make it, but that's not important right now. They're shutting you down. What? I just got word, okay? The Institute is no longer going to fund your project. Uh, as of 6 p.m. tonight, the lab's power is going to be shut down permanently. I don't want to get caught down there. But Dave, we have to risk it. For Mark. It's probably locked. Yeah, we'll see. Thank you. 